Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I should just say, I've just jumped out the shower, I'm all clean, and I've chucked on my dirty DIY clothes because it's another DIY day, so, or maybe two, three days, maybe two, three years. You know how slow I am with DIY projects, but it's really motivating me to film them. So thank you guys for keeping me accountable. But today, we are gonna be repainting these cabinets here, and I will explain why, but first, you can hear the kettle boiling. I need to get another coffee. My third coffee of the day. Ah, <sighs> that's better. Right, now let me explain the cabinets because some of you are probably thinking, Joy, you only just painted those. So these are the cabinets in our dining room and you might remember that when we first moved in, these were all white. In fact, everything in this house was white. The previous owner loved white and pale blue. This was her pale blue sofa. Every single room in this house was white, all the furniture was white, the tables were white, the chest of drawers were white, the bookshelves were white, everything was white, and that is just not to mine and Lucy's taste. We like white, but it, I feel like personally it needs to be offset with some color or some darker tones, because this whole place was just white and it just looked like a hospital. So um, one of the first things we did when we moved in was paint these in a color called Dinner Jacket, which we got from B&Q, which we absolutely love. It's sort of a bluey gray, and we replaced the knobs um, with some nice brushed brass. But as you can see, from replastering and stripping wallpaper, the cupboards have gotten so damaged. It's not just like the paint scratched off, it's like you can see divots here going through to the wood. It's all just so, so damaged. Um, the doors have also taken a beating all the way over here. The hinges have been painted over multiple times. So what I wanna do is take all the doors off, take all the hinges off, get some nice new hinges, strip all of the paint back to the wood, and then repaint it, just because it's had layers and layers and layers of paint over the years. I have no idea how old these doors are. I wouldn't think they're that old. I reckon the person who put these in, because this used to be a fireplace, the person who put these in also put that arch in. So I reckon it could be like 50s, it could even be the 60s, so who knows. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. So the first step is to take the doors off. Now this is gonna be quite hard because as I said, there's years and years and years worth of paint over these screws and over these hinges. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Right, I managed to get one off. Um, basically, look at the state of it. It's just all been caked in so much. What I'm having to do is to scrape off all of the paint from the screw head and then it's a flat head screw. So I've just been like gouging out the paint from the screw head and then twisting really carefully. But this is actually gonna take so much longer than I've realized. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This is what I love about having an old house. I've just discovered something hidden around the corner. I just saw a screw and I was like, what's that? And I felt it. And there's a big old key. What is that for? Where's that from? What does that do? Is it like a magic key? Like what's... Wow, I mean it's not that old of a key, you can tell. But still, I love finding little things like that. Also, this is Editor Joel just jumping in to say, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I can see that over 50% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, you're ghost viewers. We don't like ghosts here, we're anti-ghosts. So, please click subscribe, it's just free to do that. So, yeah, thanks. The hinges have been coated in so much paint that the screws are out, but it's still <laughs> on. Not anymore. Right, so this is my workstation in the garden. I actually bought these A-frames uh, the other week. So good and so helpful for me to be able to do these doors. At some stage, I also want to do all of our big doors, like our bedroom doors, the bathroom doors, so this will come in really handy. But here we go, I'm gonna take all the hardware off, so I'm gonna take the doorknobs off and the old hinges off on this side. And then this is my heat gun, um, so I'm gonna strip it using that. Here we go, all the screws have come out. Let's try and rip this off. Oh my gosh, it's well and truly stuck. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver under that. Didn't go for a screwdriver, went for a hammer. <laughs> it worked. Part of me is wondering though if these can be saved. Not that they're anything worth saving, but when I was chipping away at the paint, you could see 
like the chrome coming through and that's the reason I don't want these hinges because they're so covered in paint but maybe if I can strip them of all the paint then I won't have to worry about repairing the wood I can just sort of sand it down and put the same hinges back on so I might look into that actually What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection Lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart Right, this side is pretty much done. Obviously there's these ridges around the corners. So I've got this tool that hopefully that will get rid of it. one cupboard door at about 9.30 a.m. It's now gone 11.30, it's 20 to 12, and I've done one cupboard door. This is gonna take me so much longer than I thought. The front with the gray took forever because of all the little edges and the little details. Ultimately, it's come up really nicely. The wood is a lot nicer than I thought it would be, so part of me is like, oh, it probably look really nice sanded down and like wood stained or varnished or something. Don't know how Lucy feels about that, but one of the edges I just couldn't get off. Weirdly, there must be, you know, it must have been applied differently or something because I've gotten it all clean of the paint except one edge that just is really stubborn. So I've left it because obviously I'll sand them down so hopefully that'll get rid of the rest of it. But anyway, I think I need to walk this little one now because she's been really well behaved, haven't you? Right, come on then. Let's go for a walk. Life in the night something about how it is in the moonlight that look in your eyes it tells me that you sand and then I wipe down with a bucket of cold water just to get all the dust off. <sighs> I think I'm done. I think that's it. I'm gonna head to the gym now. Probably won't do any more when I get back, but maybe, but probably not. Been to the gym, done my legs, and then I went to Asda to get a weekly shop before I go to North Carolina next week. So I only bought a limited amount, but anyway, I'm just gonna chuck these hinges into a pot of boiling water. I've seen online that if you boil them for about 20 minutes, the paint should come right off. When I was in Asda, I did buy some paint stripper for the frame of the shelves in there, um, and a wire brush so that I can also strip off the paint, but also rub these hinges. So, let's plop them in. Ooh. Four of them. Right, it says 20 minutes, so we'll come back to that and let you know if it works. They look pretty dang good. They look like some of the paints come off of them already. Right, let's get them out. Pop them on here, and then I'll just start scrubbing them. <sighs> Look at that. It's coming off. Right, they're done. They're not perfect, but they'll do for now. But really, it doesn't matter, so long as they're not caked in paint. That's the main thing. Over and out for the day, I'm packing up, packing down, having a shower, getting my PJs on and relaxing slash I have some work to do on my laptop, but I can do that on the sofa. So I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day, it's the end of the day, it's 5.30 p.m. and I didn't film anything because I knew that it was exactly the same as yesterday and it'll probably be another same day tomorrow. Um, I managed to strip three more, which is good. So those two I did yesterday and I've done those three today, plus made a start on this worktop, scrubbing it with a varnish remover rather than the heat gun. But um, I need to give it a good sand down and sort that out. Um, tomorrow is Saturday and Lucy and I are gonna be finishing off the dining room Obviously the living room is finished, um, but the dining room is not, so uh, we're gonna finish that off. So. Right, it's two weeks later and I'm back from North Carolina and now it's time to coat them with a layer of primer. So this is a prime primer and undercoat for wood, interior and exterior. So I need to do maybe a couple of coats of this before coating it in final color, which is the gray. But yeah, let's just give this a go. Oh, it's quite thick. Maybe primer is supposed to be thick.
Right, that is the first one done. This is going to take a long time because of the drying times and I believe I need to give it a very light sand and then another coat of primer and then another light sand and then a final coat of paint. So it's going to be a very long process. But yeah, and I still haven't done the back of the door yet. Oh, Ava. Ava's dipped her ear in the paint. Look at that, you've got white tips. Yeah. It's nearly 3 p.m. <laughs> And I've been painting, taking Ava for a walk, come back, done more coats. But anyway, I've also applied some more stripper to the frame. So obviously all the doors are off. Um, this is this side, which is, it's pretty much gone back to wood, but it just needs sanding down and then painting. And I started on this side, and as you can see, it's all bubbling away. So I'm just gonna see. <gasps> oh, that is satisfying. Look at that. I'm also really intrigued. This was obviously a fireplace. I'm really intrigued if there is still a Victorian fireplace under this, but from the looks of it, I don't think there is because I've been tapping and that sounds very solid. So like I've seen people online that like start ripping the wall away and beneath is a beautiful fireplace, but this sounds more hollow. I think the old owners ripped out that fireplace and turned it into a cupboard, which is really sad. And I, if there was a fireplace under there, I would retain the two cupboards either side and then turn that back into a fireplace because the cupboard space, I do really need the cupboard space, but it's not even a big cupboard space. Like compared to these, this is Ava's cupboard, which desperately needs tidying. The cupboards are quite large. This one is just tiny. So if anyone has any words of wisdom or any ways in which I could find out without like damaging the place. The thing is, because this is a joint house, mine and Lucy's, I know I'm more inclined to like rip things apart and just see and then be like, oh well, and then patch it up. And whereas Lucy's a bit more like, let's take our time. Let's not ruin our house. If left to my own devices, I would probably just rip all of this off and see what was underneath. But yeah, I don't know what these bits are. Was it a fireplace or was it a stove or was it a hinge? That looks like as if it, there was a door there. I'm very confused. <sighs> this is such a long job. Good morning guys, it's 9am the following day. I've had one coffee, I'm just making another here. Um, the reason all of this is all cluttered by the way is because we still haven't finished the dining room. So as soon as this is done we can put our bar up and then we can put all the alcohol in the bar. Anyway, it's time to crack on. Also, this was my Christmas present from Lucy, is a print saying dance floor, which is gonna go on the wall here, pointing through to the dining room. Love it. That's, it's kind of a bit of a private joke, but um, I'm running out of days before I go to Florida. So really, I've got today and Thursday to finish this project because I told Lucy I wanted to finish it before Florida and I like to stick to my word, but I mean, she won't care if I don't, but now that they're white, this is what they were before we moved in. Um, everything was white. I know that it takes two coats of this paint to make it that color. So it's gonna be quite a long day, I think. So let's stop waffling and get on with it. Ava's not very well today. She's not been eating her breakfast. Her stomach is gargling and now she's just done her diarrhea on the grass. So I'm gonna tidy that up before starting because otherwise it's gonna stink all day. Yeah, and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Leaves keep dropping on it. Stop. Oh. took um, 15 minutes to do that. So if each door needs two coats, then that's 30 minutes per door. There's six doors. So that's three hours, not including drying time. I think I can get it done. Right, they have all had one coat and they're getting covered in leaves. <laughs> it is now time to take this little one for a walk. Come on, we also need to really sort out our grass. Do you guys recommend grass seed or do we just relay turf? And just to shut down anyone before they say it, no, we're absolutely not getting astroturf or what's it called, artificial grass. No offense to anyone that has it. I 
absolutely hate it. I hate artificial grass. And so yeah, not getting that. We're gonna stick with real grass, even if it is more maintenance. So um, yeah, if anyone has any recommendations of how to look after a lawn, let me know. I'm back from my two weeks in Florida. I hope you can see that I've got a tan. If not, then that's sad. Um, but I'm back and I'm cracking straight on with these. So I have taken off the remaining bits of paint here, filled in a few holes, and now it's time to go on with an undercoat and primer, maybe a couple of coats of this before moving on to the actual color, which I probably won't do today. I'll do that tomorrow. As you guys know, I love doing slow projects. <laughs> I'm just so slow. I cleaned off all of the hinges. I popped them on my Instagram story. Lots of people were like, why don't you just buy new hinges? And I was like, that's not the point, guys. It's cheap to reuse them. It's more sustainable to reuse them. And it's quite nice to like keep the original features. Also, it's laziness because keeping the same hinges means that I don't have to drill new holes. <laughs> I can just put them back exactly where they were. There we go, another set done. What I do need to do though is reattach the magnetic strips. So as you can see, there are the magnets. Those holes are where the magnetic strips go, so I do need to do those at some stage so that they clip shut. But another set done. Right, I've just tidied up this edge. Oh, moment of truth. You're supposed to do it while it's still wet. So, but I always get scared. Oh, not bad. So far, so good. I mean, this wall is gonna be covered in brick veneer at some stage anyway, so you won't really see the edge. Um, okay, it's a lot better than it was. Dun, da, da, da. These bits are a bit dodge, but I can touch those up. Yeah, as I said, this will at some stage be covered in a brick veneer, so it will be exposed brick. Also, I'd love to get our thermostat changed. As you can tell, it's very dated. My friends Drew and Anna have a nest. Um, it's a lovely little round one that goes on the wall with a digital display and you can sync it with your phone, turn the temperature up and down. So like, I could be walking home from the station in the winter and it's 20 minutes to walk to my house. Um, so I could leave the station and be like, switch the heating on on my phone and then come to a toasty home. So, and it just looks more modern and new, but I don't know. Apparently they're really easy to fit, but I'm like, what, is this wired or is this wireless? Because if this is wireless, fine. It would need replastering, or would it? Because I'm doing brick veneer. Anyway, I don't know. But if anyone knows anything about Nest or getting your thermostat changed, are there wires inside this wall that connect to the boiler or is it done wirelessly? Anyway, everyone always, by the way, bangs on about this. They're always like, open this up, it will be so much nicer. I know, that has been on the list from day one. As soon as we moved in here, we wanna get this changed to spindles. Some other people are saying, take this paneling off, there might be spindles behind it, but there isn't. It is very thin. Um, there are no spindles in, in this. Um, Trust me. But that is on the list. But we got a quote in just after we moved in. So about a month after we moved in last year, we got a quote for about three and a half thousand just to get oak spindles put on and a new end post, which is ridiculous. And we can't afford that. So I think we're gonna wait and see if the prices come down a little bit, although I don't think they are. There's so much to do that we've had to prioritize what things to do. So at the moment that is last on our list. Anyway, I'm really glad that this project is very nearly finished. It's looking good. That is just the light, by the way. It's not <laughs> badly painted. Back to normal. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this very long DIY video. I hope you found it interesting editing it. It's currently standing at over 20 minutes long, so I'm gonna try and be brutal and cut it down to at least 15 minutes. I have no idea what the total length is as you're watching this, but hopefully future Joel can get it down to 15 minutes because I was very bored watching it. Anyway, hope you, it was like watching paint dry, wasn't it? <laughs> Good joke. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, and by the way, there are Florida videos coming soon. As you know, I'm really behind on my videos. But thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. I post videos every single week. And if you'd like to become a member, I do members only live streams and members only videos now. So if you'd like to become a member, you can click the join button next to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Also, it's Father's Day coming up. So if you want a cameo from your kids or, you know, if your dad likes watching my videos, then I'm on cameo. So the link will be down below as well. That's the shameless plugs over. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.